affairs tonight. The East Midlands man accused of smuggling huge quantities of cocaine. Robert Dawes from Sutton in Ashfield has gone on trial in France. He's denied trafficking cocaine worth hundreds of millions of pounds. Well, today, a senior British detective said that Daw is also connected to several unsolved murders. Our social affairs correspondent Jeremy Ball reports. It's three years since Robert Dawes was arrested at his mansion on the Costa del Sol, the culmination of a police operation spanning 15 countries. The Spanish Civil Guard claimed he was running Europe's largest criminal organisation dedicated to drug trafficking, money laundering and murder. Boats, homes and even planes were seized and 50 people were arrested. They accused Robert Dawes of dealing with both the Italian Mafia and Colombia's notorious Medellin cartel and linked him to a wave of drug-related murders in the Netherlands. Now he's gone on trial in France, accused of trafficking these drugs in suitcases with help from corrupt officials. Well over a tonne of cocaine was seized from a flight to Paris from Venezuela. He's denied any involvement. It's come 13 years after Robert Dawes was first named as a fugitive trafficker in two major drugs trials in Nottingham that put his brother, John Dawes, behind bars. Another Nottinghamshire drugs gang was caught dismantling cars with cocaine packed in secret compartments. Detectives said they were part of a global network which they suspected was run by Robert Dawes. The police also want to question him about an unsolved murder in Sutton in Ashfield, the execution-style shooting of a businessman called David Draycott 16 years ago. But first, Robert Dawes has to answer charges in France. If the court there finds him guilty, he could face a 30-year prison sentence. And Jeremy, that trial in France has been hearing from the British authorities today. Yeah, it has. Uh, evidence today from Rob Hickingbottom. Now, he's the Midlands boss of the National Crime Agency, and he revealed it was British detectives who tipped off the French authorities about that drug shipment because he said it was two of uh, Robert Dawes' British associates who'd gone out to Venezuela to arrange it and that some of those drugs were actually destined for the streets of the UK. He also talked about those links with the East Midlands, the investigation we heard about there into that gang who concealed drugs in cars. He said there were over 80 arrests in that inquiry and that several people who were building those caches had been talking about Robert Dawes. And the court also heard about Robert Dawes' background. It did, yes. Mr Hickingbottom said he actually started off uh, as a petty criminal in Sutton in Ashfield and he was first convicted when he was only 11 years old but then got involved in much more serious crime. Mr Hickingbottom said he's now connected to a number of murders some of which remain unsolved. And he said there's evidence that Robert Dawes has remained active while he's been locked up in custody because this year the police out in Ghana found thousands of boxes of laundered money written on the side of those boxes, Robert Dawes, July 2018. And as we've said, of course, Robert Dawes has denied these charges and he's due to be giving evidence next week.